Hello everybody, it is Amy Lee here. Um, I kept telling you guys over and over and over again <laughs> that I was going to do a purse collection and I'm finally going to do that. Um, I am so sorry that my videos always seem like so far between, but life just happens. <laughs> I'm going to go into a big spiel about a hundred things that I've been doing or going through or whatever, because, you know, nobody really gives a crap. <laughs> they click on the videos because they read the title and that's what they want to see. And if you are one of my subscribers, one of my friends, I say subscribers just because it's technically what they call you guys, but I call you guys my friends, especially you special gals who are always hitting me up in the comments going, what's up? How are you? I hope you're okay. Like, uh, when my back was hurting, uh, the last video I did was cleaning up and my back was hurt and, and lovely lady. Um, I don't always mention names cause I'm never sure if anybody wants their name mentioned or not. Like I know your guys' names. I always hit you guys back on the comments. I always try to answer them, but I never know if anybody wants their shout out or whatever <laughs> or not. So to everyone who is my friend and is always asking if I'm okay, if I'm all right, if things are good, uh, I, I always heartfelt appreciate it. I'm like, I can't believe there are like random people in the world who give a crap. <laughs> like, even if you're just like, okay, I feel better looking for that next video. I'm like, thanks. And I swear I'm trying. <laughs> I'm really trying. Uh, I'll just say it's been a whole lot of doctor's visits, but everything is starting to get better and smooth out and calm down. Just a pinch. <laughs> just a pinch. So, uh, that's just a shout out to my friends there and let everybody know. I'm sorry it took me so long and things are calmed down just a bit. Uh, right now I had, um, it's getting later in the evening time. So I'm like, I'm literally facing my bedroom window. I'm just plopped down on the floor. I have this full size Rubbermaid tote. It's like back behind me on the side of my bed, like my bed right here. I can't lean back anymore. So I'm between the bed and the window here. And I have this whole tote full of stuff um, that I'm gonna show you guys. So we should get started. Um, but I just wanted to say, hey, I guess real quick, if anybody has any questions or wants to chat or whatever, comment, hit me up, let's talk. All right, so um, my bags, I always stuff them and cover them and everything. Like, I, I pack them away well because I'm obsessed. I love my purses. They are, like, a huge piece of my life. So when I'm not in current use of one, I store it away. Like, these ones that are kind of just loose on top is because I have, like, a little coat hook thing up here on the wall, and they were hanging on that. Um, so I just kind of tossed them on top here so they'd be with the rest. But the ones that are stored away in the tote are closed, you know, wrapped up. So I'm just going to um, show the bag and, like, tell you what little bit I know. Some bags I know a lot. Some I don't. I don't know. I just, I'm not like a purse knowledge person by no means. I just love them and I'll just you what I do know about them um so I'll show them and then if if anyone is interested in any of the bags that I do have and you do want um more details about it um I I have no problem getting the bag back out and being like hey so for so and so this bag, you know, like has this pockets, blah, blah, blah. Like I'll, I'll detail it for you if you would like that. Like if you're like, I really like that. I'm thinking about getting one, but I kind of want to know how big it is or blah, blah, blah. Then just, just yell and I'll, I'll let you know what I can about it. 
Um, so right on the bed behind me is the bag I am currently using. So my stuff is in it. Um, it is a small bag. Um, it is a Dooney and Burke. I'll show it all as best I can. That's why I picked the window seat and the floor here so I can show them all, um, as true to color and stuff as I can. So this is a smaller bag, as you can see, um, like, you know, I, I don't have big hands and I can get like, you know, both my hands here. Um, like I said, if anybody wants details, like measurements or whatever, just let me know, but I'm just showing the bags off. So this is a Dooney and Burke. Here's the front and the side and the back and the side. So, um, this strap here, uh, I wouldn't really consider it like a shoulder strap. I mean, look, it can technically like go on your shoulder. Like that's how I've been wearing it, but it's not like a shoulder strap bag where you can grab it with one hand and like, see my elbow popped, but <laughs> my elbow is completely rebuilt. As you can see, it's a little warpy looking. It's cause it's more metal than bone. But anyways, uh, you can't just like grab it and get it onto your shoulder, even with that. Like, okay, this one, <laughs> it doesn't do that, but you can take this and put it, you know, up on your shoulder. You can be like, oh, okay, you know, and that's handy, but it is pretty much like, you know, right under the armpit. Um, so it can go on the shoulder, not with any kind of big coat or anything, but it will. So there's that one. It's a Dooney and Burke. I have no idea what the name is or anything like that. Um, I got this at a uh, consignment shop and it has this little tag thing on it with a little orange duck on it. And it has a zip top. And here is the inside. So it, it don't have any outside pockets either. As you can see, it's just a, just a small little bag. And here is the inside. I'm trying to face it towards camera and the light so you can see. The back has a little zipper on the back. And then the front has like a small little slip pocket. Um, this, I imagine, is vintage because I know from knowing some, you know, about Dooney and Berg that that was a foam pocket. <laughs> from 2000 something, I imagine not like 22, but like Y2Ks, you know, early. But I just have um, a perfume and a medicine box in there. So obviously my phone is not gonna go into that tiny little pocket, but small things can. So that's just like quick peek in my purse, but we're not doing a what's in my purse. So I'm not gonna detail <laughs> All that but that's kind of just a peek on what the inside looks like and I like that it's like this light pink pinky red kind of color because it just makes it easy so that is the purse I am currently occupying right now and this is cloth it's like a denim so it has the dark leather and it's a denim like feel and stuff and has the DVs on it. All right. So that is the one I'm currently using. I'll put it back up there. Okay. And then in the giant tote, the next thing on top is another Dooney and Burke. Um, and this is the collegiate, collegiate, right? College, college, collegiate collection. Um, and as you can see, it has UK all over it, which is for University of Kentucky, which is where I live. I am in Kentucky and it has the dark leather and it comes with a shoulder strap that is adjustable. I think I have it like in the middle right now. And it is one that you can, you know, one arm throw on the shoulder or you can hold it by the straps and it is a zip zip satchel is what they call this one I do know that and there's the bottom 
So it is a zip zip satchel and it is a larger bag. It's not a large bag, but um, it's a larger bag. And the handles have like this whip stitching on the handles. And it zips down both sides. Like the zippers go down both sides. And then the inside is a light cream color. And if you have doonies, you know that it is pretty much common doonie setup. There's two slip pockets here, a smaller one, a bigger one, a zip pocket, and a large slip pocket, and of course the key holder. And the little doonie has uh, the zip and the one little pocket, but it had a little key thing too. I think they all pretty much do. So that's the inside of that and it holds a ton and it does have like, um, they call it the gussets, like the material on the sides of the zipper. So when you got it unzipped all the way, like all your stuff doesn't just go dumping out the side of the bag. So yeah, I have a ton of bags. So <laughs> Oh, and my husband bought this for me at Macy's. Um, we were in the mall one day and we were passing, you know, through the courtyard in the middle and there was Macy's on the side and rarely go in there because it's Macy's. It's expensive. But like right in their doorway on a stand was a ton of these University of Kentucky bags. They had like crossbodies, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like... Oh my gosh, babe, like, look at those UK bags. Like, that's so cool. So we went over and looked at them, and he was like, get it. I'm like, oh my God, you're crazy. So, <laughs> yeah, we did. He splurged on me, for real, and got it. It was a splurge. It was not cheap. I think it was, like, 360 something Ooh, yeah, I know. Okay, so, <laughs> um... Most of my bags come from like TJ Maxx or consignment shops. So to like buy one straight up was rare. But there's that one. Um, let's see. I'm going to set it over here. And the next just sitting on top because it was hanging on the hooks is a crossbody bag. There's a nice long strap. And this is uh, Patricia Nash. So here is the front, and that's how wide it is. You can see it's just a crossbody. It's a zipper top, and here's the back. And as you can see right here, the little stamp, the they kind of emboss or stamp the leather with Patricia Nash uh, little emblem there. So there is a zipper on the back and a zipper on the front. Um, and then there is the main compartment. So you have zip on the front, a zip on the back, and then the main compartment. You can't really see in this one too good. I mean, I guess because it's small, but it has like suede inside. Like she lines her bags with suede. Um, and the front has a couple slip pockets. And then there is a zip pocket on the back. And as you can see, her little... Leather stamp, Patricia Nash. Um, where did I get this one? Oh, TJ Maxx. Yeah. So my kids, actually. My kids got me this little Patricia Nash crossbody bag for, I want to say, Mother's Day. Yeah, I'm thinking it was Mother's Day that they got it for me. And it also did come with a small shoulder strap. Um, that has chains on it that's in this bucket somewhere um, that you can wear it like a shoulder bag or you can put the crossbody on it. I just had the crossbody on it. But I love that teal color. And this leather, it's not flat. Like you can feel it. Like it's tooled. If you know anything about her brand, you know she does all that handcrafted tooled leather. TJ Maxx Patricia Nash crossbody. So there's that one. 
We're only going to be able to stack so much up here, and then I have to just put it wherever I can. Okay, and here is another one that was loose. This is a coach. Um, it is crossbody as well. Um, it is removable strap, but it didn't come with another strap like the Patricia Nash did. I guess, I don't know, they, you can just take it off in case you want to, I guess. But it's a black strap, and it's red on the inside of the strap, so it's a crossbody. And I bought this one off the coach site, I think. I think I got this one, it was on my phone on the internet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was a coach site, so I'm pretty sure. Um, and it has the little leather tag. It says coach, and it is purple, like a dark purple. And um, it's kind of like a saddle bag. It has a nice fat base on it, like a bottom. Like, this is a small bag, but you'd be shocked at how much stuff you can get in here. And it's mostly because, as you can see from the profile, it's like, small stuff here but it gets real fat in the bottom you know it's kind of shaped like me it, it drops out in the bottom so it has a nice wide base on it and that allows for a lot of things to like go in there um it has the the coach like the co it says coach but it has the horse and carriage here um and it's just magnetic closure see like it literally just binds itself shut but you flip it open, and it's this beautiful red interior. See, there's the magnet. I mean, it's covered in leather, but it's the magnetic closure. And the inside of it, you have... Um, this is a hard one to show. <laughs> Try to bend this over so you can see in it, but I don't really want to bend it too much. Uh, so, in the very front, it has a small slip pocket. And I would keep, like, my sunglasses in there. And then it has the whole big main compartment. I know this isn't showing very well. Big main compartment that has like a little slip pocket on the back. So in your big main compartment, it's basically just an open space with one big slip pocket on the back. And then you have this little slip uh, compartment there you go, on the front that's good for just dropping stuff. See, like you can see when you open it on the front side, like this little flap, like that's your little slip compartment. And then you have the main compartment and a slip inside. And then it just finds its way back shut. So, uh, and this is a fairly new bag. I still see it when I'm scrolling through Facebook. I still see it on you know, when I'm scrolling through the coach site, like this still comes up. So you could totally still look this up and get it if you like it. And on the back, it does have a big slip pocket on the back too, like where you can put your phone. So yeah, so great crossbody bag. You can get way more in here than you think you can. It's black and classic. It's got the beautiful rainbow print, gorgeous red interior. Um, yeah, plenty of room and pocket, and does have, as you can see, I can get my hand in, pretty good size slip pocket on the back. So, there's that one. <laughs> it's uh, running out of space quickly up here, uh, and you can't hardly see anything over there anyway, because the lighting is getting dimmer. It's getting darker, so I gotta go faster. Okay. I guess I picked the wrong time to do this. And this is the dust bag that the cross Patricia Nash crossbody came in. But I just stick bags in whatever bag I want to. So they don't always match up. Okay, so in here I have another crossbody bag. And it is Valentino. You're thinking, holy ch Valentino. TJ Maxx. Yes. TJ Maxx clearance, $140. I know, $140 ain't chump change. But a Valentino calfskin leather bag. Um, I was going to show you. Here's the strap. So the strap is detachable. 
So when I have it stored away, I do take the strap off and just roll it up and stick it inside so I can just store it. So it does have this crossbody strap and it is adjustable. It's like a sliding belt buckle there and um, it has this great zipper across the top and uh, this cool tassel like leather tassel on it so and it's like a it's hard to see on there but it's like a lavender like lilac kind of a lilac lavender color and I do have it stuffed um, but I'll try to show you. Um, so on the front of the bag, it has a couple little slip pockets. And then you just have one big open compartment. Like that's all the pockets that are in it. There's a two small, <laughs> two small slip pockets right on the front. And then the rest is just one big open bag. The only thing um, that's on the back side of the bag, if I can unbury it, is this gold plate. There's a gold metal plate inside that just says Valentino registered trademark by Mario Valentino Spa made in Italy. So, but I found this at TJ Maxx on clearance for $140, which is not, you know, like I said, I, I'm not saying, oh, it's just, you know, pocket change, but... You find a Valentino bag for $140 at a TJ Maxx, you grab that sucker up. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, 140 bucks, but I was like, dang girl, that's a that's a nice bag for 140 bucks. So here is the front and the back and the side and the other side. As you can see, it, it holds a lot, like Everything that's in my other purse will totally go in here with room to spare. Like, when I first got it, I was like, oh, that'd be just a great crossbody out. But it's substantial. You can pack this sucker and it don't do nothing to it. It's good. So, anyways, so here's this one. And I got that at TJ Maxx for a steal of a deal. So, we'll just set that one there, too. Okay. Oh, and then I just have like this little Dooney and Burke kind of like clutch pouch thing here that's in there. So it's just black, kind of like coated cotton with the rainbow BBs and it has the rainbow zipper and the heart pull when you open it and it's kind of like a plastic I hate to say plastic. I don't know if it's plastic, but plasticky inside. And it does have like a big slip pocket in the back, on the back of it. So like if you're just quick night out, like me and my husband go to the casino and I'm going down to play games and because we get free rooms. So if we go down to play games and I don't want to take my whole big purse, I can just grab this. And there's way more than enough room for my phone, ID, player card, you know, anything that I would just need to go down and play. So that, that's cute. Oh, okay, we'll just start setting them in the floor now. All right, let's see. I really don't know what's in all these bags. So here's a Dooney Burke bag. Let's see what is in it. Dooney Burke bag. Oh, this is the purse that was featured in my last what's in my bag video this is a gray taupey kind of colored bag with the dark hardware like the dark I don't know gunmetal I don't the dark hardware not gold not silver but the dark stuff and it has beads on each side and it came with this uh, feather charm and it is Jessica Simpson and there is a zipper on the front and then a zipper opening and here is the inside it is a large bag like large like to me <laughs> this is just shy of a tote like it is a big purse like you could chuck your life and your whole family in here like this would be a great 
Uh, I, I use bags whenever I want, but this would be great for like somebody who carries a lot or um, has kids. Like I have kids, but younger kids where you need to chuck in some diapers and some sippy cups even, you know, and take that with you. Or if you're going on a vacation, you know, and you want to take the big bag for when you're traveling so you can take everything with you. Uh, yeah, so that is that. So there is a Jessica Simpson bag, and I got this at um, TJ Maxx. You're going to hear that a lot. So I'll put all this stuff up later. That would be great fun. Okay, so uh, let's see. Okay, this is a dupe. Please let me state this first and foremost, because I have in the past had people read me inside out when I didn't specify that it was a fake, a dupe, a look-alike, um, whatever you want to call it. Not real. But, uh, where, my daughter got this, and then I got it from her. Like, DH Gate, I think that's where she got it. But it came in this dust bag, and it is this little bucket bag. This little drawstring bucket bag. And it's like in pastel colors and it has large print on one side and the classic print on the other side and print on the bottom and it is very pastel let's see and pull the string out and this is adjustable you can you can pop those loose and make it like a crossbody um, but yeah, see the inside, it's all pink on the inside, and it just has one giant compartment on each side because it's a bucket bag, so it's just one big, one big dumping bag, but it does have a zipper compartment in the middle, so it has like a built-in little zipper pouch in the middle, and then just a big dumping bucket bag, so there's the inside. And I know Louis Vuitton has a bag exactly like this, but this one is not real. This is a a dupe, a look-alike, a wannabe. Uh, yeah, but definitely top quality. It's not real, but it's top quality. Like the stitching and everything, all the details are are beautiful. I mean, uh, if I didn't know any better, I would have thought it was real. So there's this one, just a bucket bag, pastel pink, beautiful spring bag. Uh, it is, it's like that perfect colors for the Easter season. So maybe um, next month I think Easter is, I don't know, I'm so bad at remembering stuff. I'll get that out. Okay, keep on digging. All right, and sometimes I even use pillowcases to cover my bags. If I don't have a bag for it, I'll just use a pillowcase because I just want it protected. I don't give a crap what's protecting it. So that's just a pillowcase. And this I found at a consignment shop. It is Coach. It is authentic. <laughs> I will only state when it is not. And so far, the only one that is not authentic is this. This little Louis Vuitton knockoff bucket bag. It's the only one I have that is not authentic as of yet that I've gotten to. So this is a coach and I got it consignment shop. So it is a little, you know, discolored on the bottom. Uh, it's in great shape and it is so cute. It is like a small tote. I don't, it's not mini, but it is like a tote style, but it's really small. And it has like canvas straps with just like the leather tops to hold it. And it's white as you can see with um, this like plaid. And then this pink is like a, not hot pink, it's, I don't know, it's a darker pink. I'll just show you and you'll get the idea. And here is the little tag that goes with it just hangs right here and this bag it has a snap button pocket on the front and a 
and oh and so there's the front <laughs> and there's the back and it has another snap button big pocket and these pockets go side to side top to bottom like this whole side of the bag is a pocket and the whole side of the bag is a pocket and then it does have a zip top and it's cool because it's kind of like a jacket like the zipper literally comes completely like away from itself like when you unzip it it comes off like like a jacket like it's not broken <laughs> it comes up apart on purpose and then the sides lay down flat and then you have this huge you know compartment and I'm not gonna dig all that stuffing out of there but it has two slip pockets on the front and a big zipper pocket on the back I know I'm not showing inside very good like I said if you guys want like super detail um just hit me up describe it the best you can and I'll know which bag you're talking about um and the same like pink color that's there is the same pink color that's on the inside so it's super cute it's like a great size little tote it's got great color um, it too would be great for spring or summer and it's got this gorgeous like fuchsia pink color on the inside like I wish cameras actually showed true to color because it's so much prettier than it looks and there's a ton of room but I'll fix it for later okay so there's that one so this little coach tote so any of these bags that you're seeing if I flip through it too fast or if you're interested and you want to see more um, of what it looks like on the inside or measurements or something, like I said, just hit me up. Let me know. Okay, and here is a coach bag. Let's see if a coach is in it. <laughs> Sometimes I don't. Uh, why is that not opening? Oh, there we go. Ooh, I had that one pulled in tight, didn't I? Yes, there is a coach in here. <laughs> so this is, oh yeah, this is actually my coach rogue. So this is a coach rogue. Um, it is in black with the dark hardware. So I don't know which side's front or back because they pretty much look the same. Let's see, I'll gather since this is where I got the tags and things tucked in that this is the front. So it has like this little holder thing. I think it's supposed to be like a key holder, but it's really useless. You can't do anything with it. It's just decor. And the tag that goes. Um, so there's the front and there's the back. And it just has these two hot top handles and there's one side. And there's the other and it is double zipped um and the inside on the right and the inside of it is this beautiful like honey it's suede this bag smells amazing <laughs> i got this um off a of purse site like uh dooney coach love or something i don't know purse site group that I was in they've closed the site now but um yeah so it's a coach rogue and it smells divine because it's leather and then it's all suede inside and it has big old pocket here and a big old pocket here and of course you can unzip the sides all the way down to each side see and it has this big opening here. Yeah, it does come with shoulder straps, two shoulder straps um, that are unique because usually when you get a shoulder strap, it's like cross to cross, but this comes with two shoulder straps that hook to each side. Um, as you can see, let's see. See, like here is the handle and then on each side of the bag next to each handle are these hooks and that's where it hooks so it's literally like 
two shoulder straps and they just snap on and they're removable. And then on the interior of the middle part, it's like a canvas, like a khaki colored canvas. And there is a zip pocket on one side and like this little snap button pocket on the other side. So yeah, so there is that. Uh, and let's put these straps back in here. <laughs> So I don't lose them. Like, I'll spare you all the agony of me packing all this stuff up because that is annoying as hell. But I had to put those back in there. So yeah, so gorgeous. And I would say it's a small to medium size. But like I said, if you want details, let me know. And I will tell you all I want. And I like keeping the little like hang tag things tucked into this interior pocket when I'm not using it just just to keep them good okay um yeah so a black coach road with black hardware one of my faves let's see I'm just grabbing them out as I go here is a bag let's see okay this is a gorgeous green color. This is um, Simply Vera by Vera Wang. I got it at Kohl's. And it's kind of like, it is such, it's so soft. Like, see how like squishy it is? It is the softest. Like, if I didn't have some kind of stuffing in it right now, it would literally just be puddled. <laughs> but it is so soft and so squishy. And it is like this beautiful, dark, foresty green color on the back. And then on the front, um, where the plate is, it has like this dark to light, like ombre kind of look green color and the handles are some kind of faux animal print I don't know but there she is in the sides and this bag has a snap pocket on each side the front and the back has snap pocket and then you have the middle zipper which is smooth as butter it's as smooth as butter and then you got all the space on the inside and it also has two slips and a zip on the inside and the tag just says simply vera vera wang and i got it at kohl's um so yeah so there's this one and i love her and she's beautiful and the, the just the colors aren't coming through like i hope they would Okay, here is a Patricia Nash bag, but I don't think it's a Patricia Nash bag. No, it's not. <laughs> it is another Coach Rogue. <laughs> so here is another Coach Rogue, and it is like a bubblegum pink and has these flowers on it. So... Uh, let's see. I've got the tag through down there. Yeah, so I have the tag off of it. So here's the little tag that comes with it. And I kind of just got it tossed into the front pocket there. Um, just so it don't get messed up or lost. So it has same features as the black one. Um, and it is the dark hardware too. See, even though it's a bubblegum pink, it has the dark hardware. So front the back and your two sides and the interior of this one is like this deep burgundy blood color <laughs> i don't know what else to call it like it's this really deep burgundy and of course has the pockets and the pockets and the suede and then you know you got your dark hardware unzips and this one has a 
strap that came with it. I got this second hand off of a site too. Um, and it didn't come with the shoulder, the two shoulder straps like the black one did. Um, she actually sent it and it came with this big, thick strap. I mean, that matches the bag. Let's see, it's, it's, the colors are a little different. So I think she bought it like separately. Um, I mean, it is coach. It even has the coach little tag on it and everything. And it matches perfectly. But the color is a little deeper. I don't know. I don't use it anyway. But it, she had it. I bought it secondhand, like I said. And she had this with it. But I don't use it anyway. Um, but it's like this deep burgundy color on the suede and then the interior is the same. There's a zip on one side and a little button pocket on the other. Um, and just stuff that back in there just so I don't lose it. I mean, it came with it. I'm not gonna like throw it out or anything stupid like that. So, uh, there we go. So there she is. And it has the dark hardware. Like, I don't know what it's called. It ain't gold. It ain't silver. It's gunmetal. I don't know. So, that's a pretty spring kind of bag, too. I'll just put that there. There's some more stuffing. If I keep stuffing in here. Okay. Uh, here is a coach, like, shopping bag. Um. And here is um, the black Coach Rogue that I ordered came in the dust bag with the straps and it came with everything and it actually came shipped in the shopping bag. So that was a steal of a deal there too. I got that for crazy low price. But anyway, in this shopping bag, I just have one purse and then I just have like... A couple random straps like this strap that I never even unwrapped goes to this to this green bag pricing that the green bag has where you can put a shoulder strap on it and that's what this is it's a shoulder strap to the green bag but I just kind of threw it into the shopping bag and then this is the small shoulder strap to the Patricia Nash uh, crossbody that I was showing you I was telling you it came with it's leather and then it has the chain details that hook so you can take the crossbody off and put this small uh shoulder strap on it if you wanted it to look like nighttime classy dressed up take it out whatever i guess but in here i just have this it is a coach mini tote and i got it at tj maxx so so far everything has been like consignment uh, second hand online or TJ Maxx <laughs> like that's where most of my stuff comes from it just has a little leather tag and it's so tiny because this is a mini tote um here's the front it just has the coach metal detailing there and it's in gold and then the back is just plain I know I know I should stuff it I'm gonna warp it but it's just, it looks like any other tote, but it's just mini. It's a mini tote. And it has a zipper opening. Just a gold zipper opening. And this one is just all black inside. <laughs> so it is a mini tote. Here's the bottom. So it's shaped and made just like the larger totes. It's just, it's mini. It's smaller. Which, it's a good size purse to me. You could fit a freaking ton in here. But I don't really carry a lot of stuff most of the time. Um, but it has a, uh, like a slip pocket on the front. And then just another really small slip pocket on the back where the leather coach thing is. So, it's hard to really tell anything about the inside of this because it's just black. So, this is like an all black bag. Which I can put some stuffing in there. Let's put that in there. I don't think that one piece of stuffing is going to help too much. Um, but it will help better than nothing. So, just a small 
mini tote bag and it's just all black and I kind of like having at least one just classic all black bag in your collection because you never know when you're gonna need see it like I'll show you how small it is like like you can't do like the other one you see you have to put it up on your shoulder if you do and then see it's just it's really small like my whole arm covers it if I go like this so it's, it's a tote style but it's a mini bag um yeah so but I think everybody should have just one classic all black bag because whether you're dressing up somewhere fancy and you just need to look classy or unfortunately if you're going to a sadder event such as uh, a funeral and you just need a simple classic black no frills you know there's nothing all shiny or nothing about it. Like the small little coach thing right here is about as, as detailed as it gets. And then it's just an all black bag. But whether it be dressing up or unfortunately a sad event, then you have a black bag for such said event. I need to find more stuffing so I can put it in here before it gets smushed it up. So I'm just gonna put it back in here into this shopper tote, the shopping bag. Oh, we are down to the last one. And after a hundred hours, I bet you guys are burnt, but I can't help it because like, I couldn't even edit this if I did edit. I don't edit, but if I did edit, I there's nothing I could really edit out except for maybe like the first five minutes that I talked. <laughs> so minus five minutes that I talked uh, in the beginning, and I'm pretty much just trying to burn through these as fast as I can. Like I could go on with so much more uh, detail about them all, but I'm really just going through them as fast as I can. So again, this one is in a pillowcase. I didn't have a bag for it, um, so I just stuffed it in a pillowcase. This, I also got at TJ Maxx. It is a large satchel, um, and it is Steve Madden. I don't know if that's showing on there. There you go. Steve Madden. Um, it is a large satchel. It is large. You could put a ton of stuff in here. Um I need to store this away better. It's getting kind of dented up. But here's the front. And it just says Steve Madden here. And it is silver hardware. Um, and it has a big front pocket. Like you can see the line here. This whole front piece is one big large front pocket. And then it has, there's one side. And it has like these little silver beads around the edge. I don't know if you guys can pick up on that little silver beads around the edge of it. It has a huge base. Like I said, it's a large satchel. Here's the back. It's just plain. I know. It's... I ain't never gonna sell none of this stuff. So it's just for me. But kind of has a little dent here. I need to store that better. Um, And then here's the other side. So here's the overall shape of the bag has two top handles and as you can see it does come with crossbody strap it has um pretty silver pull like your classic silver silver one big zipper across the top like that and opens up huge <laughs> super stuff see i'm like i'm not sure what i'm doing wrong so i got it super stuffed but I still got this big dent in the back. I don't know. But it is light on the interior, which is nice. It has a zipper pocket on the back. And this just says Steve Madden on it. Um, and then on the front, it has, you know, two slip pockets in the front. And it's just one big open compartment. So you have a zip and two slips. And then it's just one big open bag. You can see when I unzip it and show you from the side that it is a large satchel it has plenty of room and i'm pretty sure the crossbody strap is in it yeah okay so see 
down in the bottom. It does come with an adjustable shoulder strap, crossbody strap that is just stuff down in here <laughs> so I do have it packed as much as I can so I don't understand why it's so worked out of shape I don't know it's just been in there for a while and there's that and that was the last the last bag and the zipper is so smooth like it just goes so easy and it is like a grayish blue like it's not gray but it's not blue it's like a grayish blue so it's a great neutral um spring summer fall winter i go all around the clock it doesn't look like it. it looks really light like it would just be a warm weather bag but if you've seen it in person and seen how it's like a gray gray blue color you would see that okay well it's like gray you can use it but so that's steve madden satchel with the silver hardware is the last of the collection so <laughs> just show you guys real fast so these are the ones we started with crossbodies and oh they almost fell and valentinos and coaches and <laughs> let me move my leg and here is the floor <laughs> And we have pillowcases <laughs> and we have coach rogues and Steve Madden and knockoff Louis and coach and uh, beer wing and the other black coach that was in there. And of course my little genie up here that I am currently using. So yeah, all of these are um, my bag collection, and the only one that is not real is this uh, Louis here. The Louis Vuitton pastel -y bucket bag there is a dupe. It's a look-alike, but all the rest of these are authentic, and I either got it at consignment or off secondhand from, you know, purse sites, purse lover sites, or... Um, TJ Maxx. Lots of TJ Maxx. <laughs> and that. So, okay. So, I have burnt the crap out of the clock. But you guys wanted to see my collection. And there it is. So, that is my purse collection. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. I did try to go through them as fast as I could. There was a lot of them. And I had to take them out as I went. And now I get to spend probably another hour packing them all back up. But that's, I think that's why it took me so long to do it. Because I was like, oh my god, I'm going to have to open all these up. <laughs> and then it's going to take me forever. Because, you know, okay. But thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And if there is any certain bag that you really want to know anything else about. Um, I think there's bags under here. I think I've buried some. Yeah. <laughs> Here's one at least. Yeah, here's my Jessica Simpson. <laughs> and the Jessica Simpson bag. Don't forget her. I think I I don't think I buried any more. Okay. What's this? Oh, that's the card. The little card that came with the fake Louie. That's what I mean. Like it was it it came with the bag and a little card and everything. I mean, if I didn't know that it was duped off the internet, I'd I'd have bought it thinking it was real but so it's good quality but it is not real and so and, and miss jessica simpson we always forgot about her so any of these bags if any of these bags if you if they're buried and you don't see just rewind check it out but if you want to know details like measurements uh you want to see the total inside of it because you're thinking about it just let me know but i'm going to get off of here before anybody just like falls asleep so there's my collection. Thanks for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye.